What's up, Bessie? Would you like to trade one wheat for 10,000 cookies? Wait, 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 guys, 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 we can talk about this. You don't actually have to do it because Bessie said to do it. Wait, why did I get shorter? No, 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 what is this? What did you guys do? I'm a pair of legs. Today I'm morphing into every custom boss from the Twilight Forest dimension. There's Nagas, Phantom Knights, Hydras, and even the legendary Yurgast. Will I be able to morph my way to victory? Watch until the end to find out. Look what you guys have done to me. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look, what, what, what do you, I'm like a little bean creature with a pair of legs. Every single person watching today's video right now owes me one cookie for what you did to me. Bessie did explain to me though that I will indeed get my 10,000 cookies if I can beat the Twilight Forest and morph into every single custom boss. So for those of you guys that have been living under a rock and have not seen the Twilight Forest dimension, once you install the mod, you need to surround a two by two pool of water with any sort of flowers and then throw a diamond in the center. And then you can hop through we only have a 20 minute time limit to beat the entire Twilight Forest dimension and get every single custom morph. Luckily, I'm a pair of pants with a shotgun. Okay, now we also have this blank magic map. On this map, it should show me every single one of the custom dungeons. So the first one that we're gonna be looking for is the Naga. Fly away, my beautiful pair of pants. Off to the Naga we go. This isn't technically a boss, but I would love to turn into a giant goat sheep. <laughs> Got him. Did it work? 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 Yes, we got it. We turned into a big horn jeep. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the first boss of the day. As soon as I step foot in here, the Naga will spawn in. Luckily, it has no idea that it's actually I, Beck Bro Jack, Slayer of Nagas. It just thinks I'm a lowly brown poop sheep. Little does it know I have the ability to morph into llama. Mama Llama Jama is gonna be the last thing this Naga has ever seen. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it, hey, 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 where, where, where is this big nerd going? How'd he get up there in the leaves? Not a match. He's no match for Mama Llama Jama. <laughs> Yo, it's working! It's working! Okay, now if I can get this morph, I'll unlock all of the Naga's armor as well. It's basically a giant reptilian boss snake, and it has so much resistance. But it, uh, it can't resist the, the power of Llama Mama Jama's spit. <laughs> Working. Okay, I'm gonna need to switch over to a blaster shotgun. Yes. Oh wait, this is working amazingly. Okay, okay. I should probably use that from now on. As much as it's really fun to spit as Mama Llama Jama, we gotta move through this a little bit quicker. And let's go see. Did we get the morph? We got the morph. Look how many hearts I have now. We also picked up the Naga scale armor, which is super, super powerful. What's up, little bunny? <laughs> Wait a second, it might be really useful to get one of these little tiny bird creatures too, and then I can fly around and morph into a Naga and drop in on the next custom boss. Come here, bird, come here, bird, come here, come here, let me eat you. Wait, can I run through blocks? I can. Wait, that is so cool. I eat blocks for dinner. Wait, I just realized I can use my wings to fly. No way. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I completely forgot. So, the Twilight Forest Dimension, it actually has a progression system. So in order to get to the next area that I have to go to, I'm gonna need to morph into the Twilight Lich. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so somewhere in this tower, there will be the Twilight Lich. Oh, oh, I think I'm, I'm running over dogs. Oh my gosh. Okay, so my tail actually does damage. I need to be really careful of that. I'm basically playing Slither.io, but in Minecraft. I love that I can just hop around like a bunny rabbit too. Hippity hoppity, give me your scapity. Where are you? Okay, we can actually just fly up <laughs> because I'm a flying snake. This is amazing. Okay, okay, we need to figure out a way to get inside. I did bring stick grenades. Let's test out if it works. Did it work? It did not. Can I just run through the blocks? Wait, for some reason, okay, I'm not able to run through the blocks. We're gonna have to morph back into the pair of pants just so we're tiny enough to fit through the window. I found a tiny entrance down here. I'm just a pair of pants with a shotgun. Nothing suspicious at all. So if my knowledge is correct, we need to keep moving our way to the top of the tower. Now there's a bunch of fake different rooms in here, so I need to make sure that we find the main entrance to the main room, which I think is over here. We broke it! In. This is it, the Twilight Lich! Nothing suspicious, just a pair of pants. I'm gonna try to shoot it in three, two, one. Oh, I did not like that. Okay, so I forgot. The Twilight Lich, I'm gonna have to hit back its uh, little ender balls back at its face. Can I do damage now? Oh, wait, I can actually do some damage. So I think I actually broke its shield already with my blaster shotgun. Okay, I don't know if I wanna be a pair of pants anymore. anymore. Okay, we're gonna have to morph back into the Naga Boss so I don't die. Look how much health I have. And now we're just gonna wrap this dude up. Wrap him up, wrap him up, wrap him up. Wait a second, I just realized my tail's a little bit shorter. So as the Naga's health goes down, my, my tail... Or my tail gets shorter as the health goes down. But look at it. I'm actually doing damage to it with my tail. Yo, wait, that is sick. And it keeps blowing up its 
I'll do it. Okay, we're gonna just pin, pin him in the corner. Pin him in the corner. He can teleport, but it's not a problem because I can just keep whipping around my tail. I'm like Willow Smith wh whipping my hair back and forth, except it's a tail. It's working. This is the most scuffed battle ever, but it's working. Whip you. Okay, so every time I whip it, it seems like it teleports and it does a little bit more damage though. And I have so much health too that I can take out all the tiny little zombies. Okay, wait a second. Let's try to use our blaster shock and see if we can speed this up. We did it! Okay, so let's see. We've collected the, the scepter of twilight. We also got the zombie scepter and the twilight lich trophy. I think we can actually use this scepter. Oh my gosh, we can. So we can use this scepter and then we can also use the zombie scepter in order to summon in pet zombies. Thanks, little dude. Fist bump. Okay, that was a mistake. And we can officially morph into the twilight lich. It doesn't have as much health as the naga, but I'm pretty sure it can resist even more damage and it has such cool particle effects. The next boss we have to kill is the hydra boss, which is located in the fiery swamp. But over there, you guys see that big mound of fire dirt? That's where the Hydra's base is. But in order to get there, we need something called Meef Stragonoff, which only drops from minnow shrooms. I think they're found in the swamp biome, so we could just bippity boppity all over these swamp lily paddities, and we can go fight our way to victory. <laughs> yeah, totally. To find the minnow shroom and morph into it and also steal its Meef Stragonoff, we're going to need to go down into the labyrinth. Down we go. We should be able to find the minish room somewhere down on the second level. The only problem is you're not actually able to dig the labyrinth. So we're gonna need to find the actual way in order to go down one more level. Wait, this isn't one, is it? No, I think this is just a normal minotaur, but we're gonna kill it anyway. And then we could sneak up on it using its morph. There we go. Okay, so we morphed into a minotaur. It doesn't have nearly as much health as the boss is, but it'll allow us to sneak up on the minish room without it knowing. Wait, we maybe found a little glitch in the system here. Nope, never mind. it's bedrock. Wait, this is it. Okay, this goes down at least one more level. Now we just have to find the buffed out minnow shrooms. They're basically moose shrooms on steroids. Wait, this has to be it. I think they're kept in cages in the labyrinth. Yes, it worked. Okay, we're gonna kill it. We're gonna, oh my gosh, there's so much damage. Yo, 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 morph, 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 morph. Okay, okay, we're back to the Twilight Lich. Okay, now we can use our Twilight Scepter, spam it, and you also get some zombies in here. Yo, it's working. Okay, wait, this dude does a lot of damage. Yes, my zombie minions are doing fantastic. They stand no chance. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, we did it. We got it. And look at that. We got the Ministry Morph. We have two Meave Stroganoff, which should be enough to allow us to fight the Hydra. What are these bug creatures? We need to fight the Hydra bug. Yo, that's sick. I want it. I want it. We got it. We're a fire beetle. Let's test it out. <laughs> this thing is amazing. This is definitely one fired up beetle. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we stepped inside and uh, okay, now that we have this, it actually looks like because with a fire beetle, we barely take any flame damage. Let's see if I drink this me stroganoff. Okay, I ate it. The mighty stroganoff. Okay, so it permanently warms you and allows you to venture into the fire swamp. We've done it. Now we have a new problem. The hydra. I think the best way to fight this is as the twilight that ledge, but if it gets a little bit sketchy, we're gonna have to morph into the Naga. We have found the three-headed beast. The Hydra boss is one of those creatures that you want to aim for the head, but in reality, you don't because it'll just keep growing back two heads for every one that you kill. I can actually maybe show you guys. So let's see if I just, okay. All right. I don't know if I'm actually going for the head. Let's see if we can maybe get in and shoot the head a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to go for this one head, right? I'm going to see if I can actually chop off the head. As you can see, the Hydra's health isn't really going down. Die, 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 dab, dab, die, dab, die, dab, 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 die. Look, 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 look. Okay, okay, okay. So one of the heads is dead, right? And look at that. We have another one that just grew and a fourth one so if you do ever fight this thing make sure to aim for the body okay go 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 flash shotgun maybe flash shotgun let's try to use our scepter of twilight it is invincible oh my gosh wait just just so much damage we gotta get out of here let's try to throw a couple of grenades i think the hydra might be immune to grenades we're so close we're so close yes the hydra goes down bro its entire body just turned to ashes where are the heads am i wait can I not morph into the heads? Let's try this out. Wait, it says Hydra, right? Look how many hearts I have first off. I have like 15 rows of hearts, but my body can't generate heads. I'm literally just a pair of legs again, and now I have a tail. What is up with today's video and legs? I don't get it. It's not a problem, though. We officially have the Hydra Trophy and also some Hydra Chops. They provide some extra regeneration, so that's perfect. The next place we need to travel to as a pair of Hydra legs is the Dark Forest to find the Dark Forest Stronghold. We're on top of our next location, the Night Phantom Stronghold. The only issue is I'm slightly too big, so it looks like we're gonna have to morph back down to something tiny like Mama Lama Jama. 
I'm a little too big. I guess we're going back to a pair of pants. We've located the entrance. Uh, okay. How do we get down? Oh, wait a second. Okay. In order to get to the lower levels, I believe I have to find a trophy room. And oh, wait, it's actually right here. So we just need to put one of our trophies on top of here. So if I grab the Naga trophy, that's not where I want it. The Naga trophy on top. Now this will open up. The next objective is to find the night phantoms that haunt the labyrinth below. Is this one of them? Is this... Oh, no, it's just a helmet crab. What's up, little buddy? I would like to become a helmet crab because you look super cute and cuddly. <laughs> Wait, I'm a flipping crab. Now they'll never suspect a thing. What is this? There's so many oars down here. <laughs> I found a monkey goblin. I'm so sorry. <laughs> When it drops TNT, what? It just blew itself up. Dude, there are some weird creatures down here. Is that it? All right. What are you? It's like a baby version of Barney. Baby blue Barney? Thank you. I will disguise myself as you. It's called a kobold. And it looks like, wait, my helmet is on my head. That actually looks so funny. We can also defeat a slime beetle and then become the slime beetle. It actually has a decent amount of health. Is this one of the night phantoms? Hold on, wait, let's try to kill it. Come here, come here, buddy. It's okay, little dude. Wait, he actually has a lot more health than I thought he would. Whoa, 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 wait, he's kind of crazy. Wait, the night phantoms might be spawning in there. Let's make sure that we kill this one. Oh, it's the pants. It's the fan, it's the, it's the flipping pants. I found the, I found the upper half, no way. Look, look, this is a, this is the top of the pants. Let's see what this strange creature is with a giant wrecking ball. Definitely not Miley Cyrus. It's called a block and chain goblin. Wait, that is sick. We also have the block and chain weapon. Wait, it can break blocks? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, little guy. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, directly in front of us. That has to be it, right? Oh my gosh, wait, they're going through walls. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit one. I don't know if that was a good idea. Can I even hit them with, oh, I can. Did we do it? Oh, what is going on? Hey, 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 get, get your butt over here. Get your butt over here. I'll hit you with my block and chain ball. Oh my gosh, wait, it's working. Wait, 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 it's working. Yo, we did it. Carmite acclamation. Settle the restless phantoms in the knight's tomb and the Carmonite tower's devices will obey you. Wait, we also got the knight phantom trophy and some super OP weapons. Did I get the morph? Did I get the morph? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give, give me the morph. Yes, the knight phantom. Hey, 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 what, what are you? Get out of here, little dude. Wait, this guy can actually fly through blocks? Wait, that is so cool. The next thing we're looking for is the Yurgast, and I think I may have found it. This is it, that's it, the Yurgast tower. We're going right to the top. Let's see, is the Yurgast up here? Oh my gosh, I think it's gonna spawn right in the middle, yo! Morph, 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 okay. I need to morph into something that's really, really, really powerful. Helmet Crab. Helmet Crab, lead me to victory. Go, Helmet Crab, go! It's working! <laughs> I'm a crab with a shotgun! Yes! All my dreams are coming true today! Wait, wait, I'm dying, I'm dying. Okay, I need to switch into something a little bit bigger. The Hydra. Maybe, okay, there's not enough space to do that here. Let's go over here, and then we're gonna morph into the Hydra for extra health. Your guest meet Hydra legs with a shotgun. Wait, 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 I wonder if I morph into the Naga, if I can actually, like, tail whip it. Flying snake attack! Tail whip! It's not effective. We're so close! It's so loud, bro, it's breaking my ears! That's it, we got the morph. Wait a second, I didn't realize there's, like, little gas creatures? Where the heck did these things come from? Is this a bomb? What did I just do? Um, all right, I think I just set a trap off. But let's see if I got the morph. Okay, so I got the little gasling creature. The thing is so cute and tiny. But let's see if I got the big boy, the Yurgas. I can't even see what it looks like in third person. You can see its brain. There's not much going on. This thing is so big. The best part is it has an absurd amount of health and it can fly. The next area we need to find is the snow forest in order to fight the alpha yeti this is it okay looks like yeah we found the alpha yeti's lair okay so here's the game plan right i'm gonna kill one of the little tiny yetis and then i'm gonna go in and fight the alpha yeti it'll have no idea hey how you guys doing little tiny castling don't mind me kill it okay are we safe are we safe are we safe oh he just threw me <laughs> do it do it do it do it look, 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 look i'm one of you but with the shotgun totally not suspicious at all this dude's throwing me out of his house. He threw me into a tree. I might have to annihilate him too. I'm so sorry. How's everybody doing? It's a nice cold day today, isn't it? Yeah, you guys you guys having fun today? You guys having any snowball fights? Oh, what's up, Dad? Long time no see. Let's do this in three, two, one! Yes! 
this dude is trash. Hey, 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 dad, I, I killed him. I killed him. He's dead. Heh, psych, just kidding. Now I'm your dad. Yo, look at my face, man. I look kind of, kind of a little bit terrifying. You guys got any cookies for me? The final boss is directly in front of us. And it is the Snow Queen. I have a feeling that the Alpha Yeti might be a little bit too big to sneak up on the Snow Queen. So I think I'm going to have to morph into a penguin. The Snow Queen will never see it coming. A penguin with a shotgun? Who would expect that? <laughs> this dude's looking at me like, what the heck just happened? Let's fly all the way up top because I am now no longer a flightless creature. Well, this doesn't seem to be working, is it? I broke my way into the main room. Wait, this one has to be it. Look, there's ice guards. Let's try to morph into one of those. Okay, I morphed into the snow guardian. Now we just have to break our way to the top. Hey, 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 chill. Wait, I see a spawner up there. We made it. It's the snow queen. Okay, okay, okay. This is kind of awkward. Um, I'm just a penguin. Look, that's probably not going to work. We're going to have to alpha yeti this. Let's get all of our zombies in here. And they're all going for the snow queen. Let's go. Okay, okay. So we need to get hits from above her ice shield. Anything below that's not going to work. Also, when she spawns in her ice crystals, I need to make sure that I kill them. Oh, oh, we're doing a lot of damage. Oh, she came down. Dude, my zombie minions are doing so good. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting back here, chilling like a villain. Oh, we're so close. Yes. Yes. We've done it. Slay the Hydra, Yurgast, and Snow Queen. We have officially defeated all of the major bosses. And now we can morph into the Snow Queen. This is so cool. I also have ice bombs. Well, that's, that's pretty dope. Holy smokes! Guys, check it out. There's the first one. Is it really a shovel? That'll have to do for now. Oh my gosh, wait, the timer started. We got the planet eater shovel. Holy crap, this thing is awesome. Inside this chest, we have everything that we need to beat the Twilight Forest mod. First things first, we have to build the portal. Boop, 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 boop. We need to put in the water and then surround the portal with different flowers. I need one more. Come on! If this worked, we should be able to throw in the diamond. Yes! Let's go into the Twilight Forest dimension. Now that we're here, we need to use our blank magic map. This will tell me where every single boss is. The first one we have to find is the Naga boss. And I think I see it on my map. My God Shovel does 9.5 attack damage, but it also has a secret ability. I'll show you guys this when we get to the Naga. Okay, this is where the Naga boss should be. All I have to do is find the entrance. Or I guess I could just break my way in. This shovel is so overpowered. Oh look, rainbow sheep. Let me show you guys its special ability. If you shift right click, it turns into this, the planet eater. And then if I break blocks we could go down here because i just broke an entire chunk of dirt now the naga isn't able to get me yes and i can get hits off come here you big green snake yes it's working oh no it hit me out of there oh gosh that's a lot of damage it's trying to break out of its prison oh my gosh i did wait maybe i can trap it let's try that yeah we got it down here we're on half a heart guys half a heart i do not feel comfy right now come on let me slap you with my shovel bippity boppity you are not my property oh gosh oh i'm gonna die I'm gonna die. I spoke way too soon. I am not powerful enough to be talking all this smack. Bonk! Get out of here, you muppet! Oh, God, I'm scared. We're so close! Come here! Give me your toes! We're running out of time. This is taking way too long. One more hit! Yes! With one heart! Did I get any of the god weapons? Oh, uh, I got the Naga Trophy, the Naga Scales. Yes! We got Infinity Boots! Sonic Speed. Look how fast I'm going. I can run over all these blocks. We only have 17 minutes to kill the rest of the bosses in the Twilight Forest mod. The next boss on our list was the Twilight Lich. There it is, guys. The old Lich Tower. At the top, we'll be able to find the Twilight Lich. It would be really helpful if we could run up walls like Sonic, but sadly, we can't. I think this might be the entrance. Yeah, there we go. Now, the only problem is getting all the way to the top. So far, it seems pretty safe. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. There's spawners everywhere. I don't need to worry about them. I just have to worry about getting to the top and beating the Twilight Lich. There it is. That was easy. Okay, let's try to hit it with our shovel. Wait, it does no damage. Oh my gosh, it multiplied itself. There's two. Wait, now there's three. I don't think I'm ready for this, guys. It's sure Shoots projectiles at us, so maybe I'm able to hit the projectiles back. Let's see if this works. Yes, it does! Now I just have to figure out which one's the real one. And also try not to get exploded. Are they still out there? Oh my gosh, yes they are! We're doing a lot of damage though. Look at it, it only has two rows of health left. What's up, boy? Now it's just the one Twilight Lich, and he's spawning in zombies. Oh, it's a fireball! That thing was spicy. Get out of here, I don't like you. Get away from me. I will I will smack you in the forehead with a shovel. Think I might be able to start doing some damage. Yes, I can. Oh gosh, but I take a lot of damage too. Here goes nothing. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. I really need a more power 
powerful god weapon. This shovel's great. It can mine so many blocks, but it barely does any damage. Oh, there's a baby! Destroy the child. Smack the child with the shovel. Bye, child. Oh my gosh, it has its own sword! Holy smokes, it does a lot of damage! Hello, Twilight Lids. Hey, buddy! How's it going, pal? That's right, you stand right there where it's nice and safe. I'll stand here with my god shovel. Big boo <laughs> got it! Guys, check it out. We got a scepter, and we also got a god bow. It's called the long bow of the heavens, and this thing is going to put every other bow that you've seen to shame. Do I need any arrows to shoot it? Nope. It comes equipped with arrows. The next boss on our list is the Hydra, but in order to get into that biome, we need to first kill the Minnow Shroom and get the Beef Stroganoff. That'll allow us to survive in the Hydra's biome and not burn alive. What's up, sheep? Yep, this thing is powerful. What you looking at, pal? Also, another cool feature I've got to mention is that when you shoot down at the ground, it rains arrows from the sky. Pretty godly. Guys, check it out. I found some dogs. Don't mind if I do. What's up, doggy? You like some bones? Please tell me you're not going to steal it. Okay. You just stole seven bones. I still love you anyway. What about you? Are you going to be greedy? No, he's not. He only needed two. Now I have Sparky and Boom Boom. We'll be able to find the Minnow Shroom down below in the depths of the Twilight Forest Labyrinth. Here we go. Ah, that broke my leg. Hello. Why is nobody here? Oh, that's lava. Do not run into lava, Jack. That would be bad for your health. I'm not seeing any minnow shrooms. Oh, I hear a cow. Oh, that's not a cow. That is a deer. We're gonna have to go deeper. I wasn't able to find any minnow shrooms on this level. Peekaboo. Ah, my ankles, man. They need to make a better way of getting down. Hello. Oh, wait a second. Look at that. That looks like a mushroom biome. Holy smokes, there's a minotaur! Good job, boom boom. Wait, guys, do you hear that? There's definitely some more down here. Wait, guys, there's a spawner in there. It's the minotaurs. They're caged in over here. Let's try to shoot it with our god bow. Boom! Two hits and it's dead. We just need to pick up the Meef Stroganoff. We'll get a couple extra for good luck. And guys, we can also pick up the diamond minotaur axe, which does a lot of damage. What the heck are those? Endis pearls. Guys, I'm pretty sure this is one of the god items from the god mod that I have installed. We're gonna save these and test them out later. Now I just have to figure out how to quickly get out of a maze because we are running out of time. We only have 13 minutes left. We managed to make it out. Before we go into the next biome, we need to eat the Meef Stroganoff. That'll make us nice and meefy. Oh gosh, okay. I was gonna say, I, I don't know if we actually need it, but we definitely need it. We definitely need it. I will burn to death. Okay, we're gonna eat this. And now we should be able to survive. Yes, we did it. We got the mighty Stroganoff ability. We are now more acclimated to venture into the fire swamp, which is exactly where we'll be able to find the hydra there it is let's test out our god ender pearls oh my gosh yo it picked up the hydra um what's this we're gonna keep throwing these things they do tons of damage and they are currently breaking the hydra it doesn't know what to do i don't know if these arrows are doing any damage but i am going to continue to light it up i think its scales might be too powerful even for the god bow we're gonna have to go with the endless pearls i probably should have left my dogs behind sparky and boom boom are not having a good time here. Don't worry, puppies. I got some meat. Oh, they're on fire! Sparky, no! I don't see Boom Boom anywhere. The god ender pearls are gonna be the only way to kill this thing. Okay, I'm gonna try to get its attention so it doesn't go after Sparky. Yes, it got exploded! Only two more of these things! Come on, you three-headed, ginormous, ugly dragon that's probably never looked in the mirror before because it would have died if it did. Eat god pearl! Come on, we're so close! We got it! <laughs> Take that, you big old lizard! We're halfway done guys, but we only have nine minutes left. Guys, check this out. We got the infinity chest plate and the infinity leggings. This is huge, ladies and gentlemen. The legs make us so that we don't take any more fall damage. We're a little bit faster and the chest plate makes it so that we now have the ability to fly. Sparky, I don't know where Boom Boom went, but I think it might be too dangerous to go on. I'm gonna leave you here. I'll come back for you later. And if I don't come back, go out into the world, do amazing things. I love you, Sparky. The next boss on our list are the Night Phantoms. Okay, the Night Phantoms should be somewhere down below in this super awesome looking sunshine forest. This place looks horrifying. Down we go. Okay, the Night Phantoms should be somewhere down in the labyrinth beneath the spooky forest. All I have to do is find the entrance. I don't know if this is much of an entrance, but we're gonna try it. Oh, Night Phantom. How do I get through this? It looks like it wants me to place down something. Wait, maybe if I place down one of my trophies, it'll open. Now we can go find find the night phantom. The night phantoms are normally found on the third floor down. I think right now we're two stories, so we have to go find one more staircase. Holy 
smokes! I just went into this room and they're everywhere! Please tell me I can do damage with my bow. It's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. Dude, I'm lighting them up. Did we get one? Settle the restless phantoms in the knight's tomb and the Carmite tower's devices will obey you. Guys, check it out. A chest spawned right in the middle. Inside, we have the knight phantom trophy. Let's hang on to that. And we also have the phantom helm. There's a knightly axe and there's also another god weapon. Nature's ruin. This is the god axe. And we also have the hoe of the green earth. We're gonna grab both of them. And just like the other god weapons, they have special abilities. Oh my goodness, guys. This is what nature's ruin does. If I were to shift right click, it takes out an entire chunk of forest. And then there's also the hoe of green earth that whenever I right click down, it hoes an entire chunk. Or if I shift right click, I could do one block at a time. But the entire chunk is way more satisfying. Before I go fight the Yurgast, we have to find the Alpha Yeti. The only way to find it is to go to the snowy biome. Guys, I think we found it. Right in front of us is the entrance to the Alpha Yeti cave. And there's the Alpha Yeti. Okay, let's try to use- Whoa, whoa, whoa! The whole of green earth. I can spam this thing. It's barely doing any damage to us now that we have the god set of armor. Okay, we can also try nature's ruin. Let's see. Dude, look at the damage. Look how much it's dropping. That is incredible. Oh, it picked me up. Oh, oh, uh, it's like, yeah, I could fly. Wait a second. What am I doing? I can just fly and then I can just shoot this dude. I don't know why my shots are so off. It doesn't matter though. We got it. Oh, sick. We picked up the ice bombs. And there's also this. Something called ultimate stew. Guys, we only have four minutes left to defeat the final two bosses. The next one is the snow queen that can be found at the top of this green and blue tower. It looks like she's protected by penguins. Are they friendly penguins? Yeah, they seem pretty friendly. You can never be too sure though. We're just gonna suck a couple up into a black hole. All right, I think they check out. Normal peasant human beings would have to go through the floor, but I can go all the way up since I have the power of a god. Okay, I don't know exactly where to bust in, but we're gonna try this one. How does one exactly knock and ask for the Snow Queen? Oh, I broke him. Okay, the Snow Queen is at the topmost part of the Snow Queen Tower. Eh, not up here. She's not up here either. Wait, guys, there's another area that I kind of missed. Oh, this has to be it. Okay, this is all the ice. We have to break through all of it. There we go. Oh! Oh, it's the Snow Queen! Let's go! Get out of here. Oh my gosh, it does so much damage. If I hit her in the head, that's when it does tons of damage. I just concussed her. Bippity boppity, you're dead. Okay, we got a secret bow, the Snow Queen's trophy, and also the Sword of Cosmos. Guys, this is the strongest item in the entire game. Look at that. It does infinity attack damage. We have two minutes left to find the Yurgast and defeat it. Okay, I think the closest Yurgast is all the way across the map. We gotta go fast. Yes, guys, there it is. The Yurgast Tower. One minute left on the clock. Come on, it's gotta be close by, right? There it is, there it is. Yes, there it is. Come on, I'm charging it. No, I missed it. Can I fire off these? Yo, these do a lot of damage. There's only 30 seconds left. We gotta move. I'm going in for it. Yes! We did it with like 20 seconds left to go. We beat Twilight Forest and became a god. Bessie, all of the cookie dough is cooking in the oven. Wait, is this a portal to the other dimension? Uh, Bessie said it is. She also has a water bucket. This never works. But what you're supposed to do is place the water bucket right here. And wait, it actually works? Today, I traveled to the Aether Dimension in order to morph into all of its creatures. There's also three custom bosses I can turn into and steal all of their abilities. Will I be able to morph into them all? Watch to find out. Also, Bessie just said that if you guys leave a like in the next three seconds, I will morph into the most overpowered boss of them all. Yes! Becbro Llama Mama Jama is ready! <laughs> Thanks, Bessie. Let's do this. We have made it. Luckily, Mama Llama Jama has flight abilities. So, okay, so for those of you guys that have never been to the Aether before, this is basically a sky dimension. I'm pretty sure that when Minecraft was originally made, there was plans to have an Aether sky dimension, sort of just like this. It would have been like the opposite dimension of the nether. Oh, look at this, we have our first creature. We have a flying piece of bacon. Bippity bappity, you are not my property. <laughs> Wait, it worked. Okay, so we have 20 minutes to morph into every single one of the Aether creatures. There are also custom dungeons 
all around. And in each custom dungeon, there is a custom boss. This is easily one of the coolest morphs I've ever gotten. And whenever I can fly around, it looks like it actually flaps its wings. And the best part is I can go on top of another one if I use a carrot on a stick. <laughs> and it works. Oh, what have we done? We have combined two pigs together. We are now spider pig or pig squared. Fly away, my beautiful pig. <laughs> Wait, this is actually crazy. We look like an X-Wing from Star Wars. I wish I had lasers, but I do have a seeker bow. <laughs> oh crap, dude, that killed him. Well, this does lead us to our next mob, the Moa. For whatever reason, it sounds like a whale, and I don't see any whales in here. Let's go test out our enchanted dart shooter. Yes. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Wow, it actually has a lot more health than I thought. This is going to be perfect because I should be able to use the Moa's strength and extra health in order to fight the first custom boss. Did, 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 did I get it? Did I get it? Yes. I have become a Moa. I blend in so well with the other giant teeth birds. Oh, yes. We have more mobs over here. This is the flying cow. It looks so majestical. I don't think I can ride on them, but we can kill them and then gain their morphs. It's basically just like a fancier version of the flying pig. Wait, what? Dude, wait, we may have found one of the cloud creatures. I also think this might be a mob as well. It's some sort of lotus creature. Okay, uh, back up, fellow cow man. I will turn back into Llama Mama Jama and I will spit in your eyeballs. Okay, let's see if we're actually able to kill it. I think we are, and then we can morph into it. So if one of the bosses decides to try to fight me, I can just morph into this and they'll have no idea that it's actually me. Wait, what? We have balloon sheep? I would love to become a balloon sheep. But yeah, it actually can blow itself up. Look at its eyeballs too. It's got massive eyes. Okay, so it looks like they can jump really high and then they inflate themselves so that they fall really slow. That definitely sounds like a useful ability, especially because we are about 10,000 blocks in the sky. That's gonna be super useful, especially because if I do jump off, I'll take fall damage. But if I morph into the sheep puff, we'll be able to slowly float down. But I love how I'm actually inflated still. I'm extra thick. And we are also able to jump super high and we slowly fall back down. We might be able to use this in order to get that whale creature that was flying in the sky. Let's try to catapult ourselves super high up using this whirlwind. Three, two, one, woo! <laughs> Wait, that wasn't, a, that, wasn't, that wasn't good at all. I can literally jump higher than that. Can I kill it? No, I cannot kill it. Cannot kill it. Can confirm I cannot kill it, but I can still jump around. We have eyes on the cloud creature. I should be able to use my seeker bow or my enchanted dart shooter in order to get it. Let's try to slide it from down here. Okay, we fired. It did not seek like it was supposed to seek. Come on, come on, you, you, you can do it, come on. Wait, there's one that just spawned right in front of me. Yo, one hit KO, we got it. Now we just need to slowly go down here to our brand new morph, the Zypher. Wait, this thing barely has any health. This thing is garbage. And it's, I'm getting shot. I am getting shot. Luckily, it does have the ability of flight, but this is literally like the worst morph I think I've gotten today. We should be able to use this though in order to fly around super fast and find one of the first custom dungeons. Oh, we found one. This is the dungeon of the Valkyrie. Let's go land right here. I don't think we're gonna be able to get in through the doors as a Zypher. My body's just slightly too big. So let's morph back into the Moa, which probably has the most health. It looks like I don't get the same jump boost abilities, but that's okay. And I also just realized I might be slightly too tall for my head to fit through the two black door. It's okay, we do have a gravitite pick. Wait, can I not break this? I guess I'm morphing back into Mama Lama Jama. Mama Lama Jama is indeed a triple threat. It can bite, it can spit, and it can also fly. So let's see what's inside. Wait, the chest just disappeared. What? <laughs> we have a mimic, a chest with teeth. It has one eyeball inside, but wait a second, this thing has so much health. And now we can become it. Sorry, Mama Lama Jama, you have been replaced by the one-eyed mimic chest. Now we will be perfectly disguised. Oh, wait a second. Okay, this is one of the Valkyrie's minions. If I can kill one of these, we should be able to get even more health, and then we can approach the Valkyrie, sneak up on it, and kill it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, dude, it literally said, now you're in for it. It's gonna try to kill me. Dude, this thing has a massive, it has a massive sword. It's really good. Okay, that was a close call. But we did pick up one of the victory medals, and we also should have gotten the morph. We did the Valkyrie. This thing has the most health yet, and I am now a woman. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know. Uh, please tell me this is an actual chest. Oh, it is. Okay, we could spawn in more Moas to morph into. What about what about this? Oh, okay. Wait, they actually don't fight me. Oh, that's right. They probably think I'm one of the actual Valkyrie defenders of the dungeon. What about what about this one? Really? Okay, they're all just gonna turn back into one-eyed freaks. Yeah, I hear you, little freak. What about this one? What about what? Is there like anything good here? Let's go up to the second story. Oh, we got a golden dart shooter and a skyroot poison bucket. That might come in handy later. What's up, my fellow Valkyries? How how is today? 
W weather's been nice outside, hasn't it? Yeah, the all hail Queen Valkyrie lady. <laughs> totally fooled the head. Uh, I mean, uh, bye. That was a close call. Luckily, my insane deception skills have gone right past the Valkyrie ladies. They have no idea that Beckbro Cookie Man has infiltrated. Ooh, we have some armor. Let's use the Xanite, and we also have Ambrosium. Oh, this is it. Okay, this is the room which should have the first custom boss of the day. Why, well, hello, Valkyrie lady. Hilbergo, the Valkyrie queen. What can you tell me about this place? This is a sanctuary for us Valkyries who seek rest. Well, obviously, I know that I am fellow Valkyrie lady. I wish to fight you. Very well, then. Bring me 10 medals for my subordinates to prove your worth. Then we'll see. All right, I'll do it. Bippity bappity, I will chappity. It's nothing personal. We're just doing some simple training. They do a lot more damage than I anticipated. Let's try shooting with the seeker bow. It just, it pops off of their, their, how is that possible? What about the enchanted darts? Okay, you literally cannot shoot them with any projectile range options. Luckily for me, I'm pretty good with the sword, but they just do so much damage, man. No, no, no. Ooh. <laughs> We've collected 10 victory medals, and we should be able to challenge the Valkyrie Queen. I also noticed that the longer we've been fighting as the Valkyrie, we actually have been getting stronger. Let's test it out real quick against this dude. Look at that, 2 hit KO. What's up, lady? I wish to fight you. I'm ready. I have the medals right here. Let's do this. 3, 2, 1, go. Hildebrigel, the Valkyrie Queen, you are now mine. Wait, wait, wait. Is she not fighting me? Is she fighting me? Oh, yeah. I thought maybe because I looked like one of her Valkyrie peoples that she wasn't actually going to fight me and that I fooled her and that I was going to easily win but i've been slightly mistaken but she can teleport dude she does so much damage and the wings bro oh no oh, okay wait i have wings too let's go i'm just gonna fly around until i can heal wait did she just teleport to the roof she can actually teleport and then slice me down oh why are they all chasing me wait maybe i can shoot this guy oh my gosh no it literally just bounces straight off it's just a straight duel that's okay that's okay we have extra strength no 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 no, no. okay okay we just need to keep going for hits stop it lady stop it, lady stop it, lady. i don't want to i don't normally hit ladies but i gotta do it this is fellow lady on lady combat, so it's fine. Oh, come on. We're so close. Yes, we did it. We actually, I didn't, get away from me. Get away from me, little pleb. We have dethroned the Valkyrie Queen. And now the throne belongs to Beckbro Queen. Let's go upgrade our morph. Oh, what? The amount of hearts I have is insane. I literally turned into the queen and this man is trying to kill me? We've also gotten our hands on this silver key, which should give us access to the Valkyrie Queen's weapons. Let's unlock the chest. Let's see what's inside. So we have the Valkyrie Axe, the Valkyrie Lance, which does so much damage, the Valkyrie Cape, we have a full set of Valkyrie Armor, Valkyrie Gloves, the Valkyrie Pickaxe, the Shovel, the Helmet, and also the Boots. Okay, we put all that on. Let's add the Valkyrie Cape and then we can hold out the Valkyrie Lance. And now I think we're in pretty good shape to challenge the next custom boss. Wait, I found another one of the creatures. The air whale. It is so beautiful and majestical. We must take it down. Hello, the air whale. Oh, no, the more fell down. <laughs> There's another one right here, though. Okay, this one has land below it, so we should be safe to slice it. And now we can go down and morph into it. We've collected the morph, and let's see if we can turn into the air whale. Air whale. Yes, we have done it. It is beautiful. <laughs> it's so big. The next custom boss we're looking for usually spawns underneath giant mountains like this. I think we maybe just found the entrance. It's a little bit dark, but luckily we have the power of the Valkyrie Queen. I need you guys to keep your eyes peeled for a giant rock boy. I don't know his actual name, but oh. I think that's him. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 what is this? What the? What, is that? what are you showing me? What are you showing me for? You not know who I am. I am Beckbro, queen of dragons. Oh, um, okay. Well, there are explosive cubes trying to annihilate my entire existence. Luckily, we okay, we did find a cool looking sword, a cool looking axe, another cool looking axe and sword, but I came here to fight giant rock boy custom boss. Senpai, I challenge you to a duel. Hello, sir. Wait, perhaps I need to attack it with a pickaxe. Oh, I forgot because he is dirt boy cube. We must attack with a pickaxe. Larkadujinawarazer, the slider. Like a cheeseburger slider? What, what kind of sliders are we talking here? Okay, luckily, I'm the Valkyrie Queen, and he barely does any damage to me. This dude doesn't stand a 
chance. I'm not able to use my Valkyrie Lance, but I'm able to use my Gravitite Pickaxe. We are gonna Gravitite this dude to death. Okay, he's actually starting to do a lot more damage than I thought. He does slide around a lot. I'm starting to realize why his nickname is the Slider. I don't know why his parents decided to make his first name so long. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. He's mad. He's me. It did not matter. We just dodged every single one of those hits. Well, we have defeated the bronze dungeon boss. And now we have the bronze key. But most importantly, let's see if we can morph into the slider. Yeah, <laughs> we can. Let's go. I'm able to slide around just like he was. Is the little dude going to attack me? He really, he really attacked me. Okay. This is amazing. I could just slide through bosses. Let's open up the secret chest. Oh, we have a, a blue gummy and a lightning knife. Also an agility cape. Let's see what the lightning knife does. Oh, I can throw it. That is going to be perfect for the last custom boss that we're fighting. Uh, wait a second. I think we found a brand new Aether boss. Well, it's not really much of a boss. It's more like a cute, tiny little bunny rabbit. And as the giant Beck bro slider, what the flip, dude? Who's protecting the bunnies? <laughs> He's actually protecting them. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Little baby bunny. Oh, I accidentally just <laughs> did it. Don't worry, little bunny. I will steal your soul and we will morph into you. The giant eyeball has decided he will turn into the bunny. The air bunny. <laughs> That's such little health, dude. But look, it falls so slowly. I'm sure it's like 90% air. We will use the power of cuteness to defeat the final boss. I think this is it. So there should be an entrance somewhere around this enchanted golden forest. And that is where the Sun Spirit custom boss will live. We found the entrance. There's no way he will suspect that Beckbro cookie lover will come in and slay him as a tiny fragile bunny. He has no idea what's coming. We just gotta act natural. Just gotta hippity hoppity. Hippity dip. Hoppity dip. Sir, you have now become my property. Did it work? Hello? Uh, you are certainly a brave soul to have entered this chamber. I am indeed the bravest bunny in the entire universe. I will now reveal myself as Beck Bro Rock. Bet you didn't see that coming, nerd. Be gone, human. You serve no purpose here. How does he know I'm a human? Do I not look like a rock? Your presence annoys me. Do you not fear my burning aura? No, because I'm a flipping rock. I have nothing to offer you, fool. Leave me at peace. <laughs> Just call me a fool. All right, all right, no. Perhaps you are ignorant. Do you wish to know who I am? I do, and then I will steal your soul. I am a sun spirit, embodiment of Aether's eternal daylight. As long as I am alive, the sun will never set on this world. Don't worry, I will take your place very soon. My body burns with the anger of a thousand beasts. No man, hero, or villain can harm me. You are no exception. Well, he did not mention a rock. You wish to challenge the might of the sun? You are mad. Do not further insult me or you will feel my wrath. This is your final warning. Leave now or prepare to burn. As you wish, your death will be slow and agonizing. I'm not worried at all. Okay, so there is actually, there's a way to fight this guy. You gotta dodge all the fire things. It shouldn't be really difficult at all because I am a giant Beck Bro sliding rock. And then I need to hit these frost cubes into him. That's the only way I can do damage. Okay, we gotta line it up because he, he runs around really fast, but we should be able to line it up just like that and look he's frozen Unfortunately, that's the only damage I do But we should be able to fight off his sun spirits and then we might be able to morph into them I don't know if this is the best idea because they probably don't have a lot of health, but we gotta do it A fire minion. This is gonna be great I'm gonna kill him as one of his own minions as the fire minion I don't think i'm able to burn but I still take damage from his fire bolts and also I need to make sure not to let the ice crystal touch me Yes, we nailed him. This is so cool I just realized in my hand you can actually see the weapon that i'm holding we got him! No way! Hey, 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 back, back, back. I killed him. Yes, there's the morph. He said such bitter cold. Is this the feeling of pain? <laughs> yes. We've collected it, and can we morph into the sun spirit? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, what? Um, um, what? It, 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 I'm dying. Let's morph back to the rock for the time being. He literally just keeps dying. There's no way. This is kind of ironic. He can only survive in the water. But ladies and gentlemen, we collected every single one of the Aether Morphs. Wait, guys, guys, you don't, you don't have to do that. Dude, do not leave a like. Do not hit the like button. No, 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 no. Why? What? <laughs> Joke's on you. I wanted to be a rubber ducky. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like in Bessie's chest, we have something called transforming time. Beck bro ducky. You get 20 minutes to morph into Mobzilla, the king, and the queen. Timer starts in three, two, one. Go, you flippin' banana man. Love Bessie. Bessie, I'm not even a banana man. Wait, I am. I have banana slammer. Ah, yes. 
Oh, the sheep doesn't even see it coming. Banana Slammer! <laughs> we did it! Three, two, one. Banana Slammer! <laughs> this is gonna be a great video. But okay, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Bessie has a ton of different weapons, and then I'm going to be using them to morph eventually into Mobzilla, the king, and the queen. Uh, for those of you guys that do not know and you're a rubber ducky like myself, the Mobzilla, the king, and the queen are some of the most overpowered bosses in the entire universe. So we're gonna need to make sure that we are prepared. We have a minigun, a nuclear death ray, a rocket launcher, and a nuclear launcher. I think that should do the trick. We're going to have to slowly build up to that. So it looks like Bessie has some other overpowered bosses from the Ore Spawn mod that I can morph into. By the way, if you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button and comment down below your favorite morph from today's video. First things first, we're gonna need to spawn in a little tiny ant. Rocket launch! Did I get it? How did I not kill that? I guess we're gonna have to go ahead and banana swim it. Did it work? Oh my gosh, it actually did! Whoa! Ooh, wait a second! Yo! Guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like way quicker. I'm also- wait, okay. I- I'm hacking. I'm not sure how I'm doing this, but look at this. I can actually see under blocks. Maybe that's because like ants can dig down. This is so weird. I also just realized I have half a heart, so this next mob better not accidentally step on me. Also, pro tip. When you're an ant, do not go near water. Next up, we have an enchanted golden apple cow. He mini again. How to, wait, what? Mini, mini. Okay, there we go. I was so close to the ground that I couldn't even shoot it. <laughs> wait, this thing looks so weird. That's okay, though, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to morph into the enchanted golden cow apple. I'm pretty sure I can just poop out golden apples. That's my special ability. Okay, but ladies and gentlemen, it looks like I gained a few more hearts. That should be able to be a uh, cut, 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 cut. That'll hopefully be enough in order to take down the attack squid. Hello, little attack squid. He's so squiddy. Three, two, one, new. <laughs> that might have been slightly overkill. Don't worry, Bessie. Beck bro ducky will fix it. I am definitely definitely not fixing that ladies and gentlemen that that is gonna cost a lot of money whoa okay i've morphed into the attack squid wait this is weird okay so attack squids just like normal squids they need to be in water and it looks like i'm also i'm blind out of water i can barely see look everything's like super foggy and anytime i'm out of water i am basically holding my breath and look at my feet I guess they're not feet, they're tentacles. Look at them go. <laughs> Why does it look so funny? I gotta focus. I gotta focus. I'm, I'm literally dying. The next ore spawn boss is an ostrich. That is not a boss. How much do I do my tentacles do? Did it, this thing just, it growled at me like a cat. That is the most sus ostrich I have ever seen. I also got these water charges that I could shoot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why does it sound like a cat? Why am I a squid? <laughs> and I have a banana! Slammer! Oh gosh, I'm dying. Crap, 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 crap. This dude's just looking at me from right above the grass block. He knows he's dead. How did that not the cap? Oh, it did! It did! It worked! Okay, before I lose all of my oxygen and start slowly dying, we're gonna go ahead and morph into the ostrich. It looks like I can actually see now, ladies and gentlemen, and as an ostrich, I can slowly float. So I think I have basically the same effects as a chicken. Ostriches cannot fly. That's a fun fact. Even though they have giant wings, they are flightless birds. I also think that they might be the world's largest bird, but you'll have to fact check me. And I also get the same abilities as a horse, so I don't even have to jump up one blocks. Look at this. Look at this. My legs are so big. The next thing we're fighting is called a Velocity Raptor. What? It looks, it looks like a, a, a nerd bird. A nerd bird dino. Bird is not the word today. Why does everything make cat noises? Okay, let's see. Velocity Raptor. This thing appears to have a special ability where I can't take fall damage. And it's completely factual. I have a lot of different hairs on my body and they're all flowing majestically in the wind. Hopefully this works <laughs> against the next guy, the Kayubi. This is the actual first boss battle that we're fighting. It is also one of the least powerful ones, so I should be able to banana slam this man to death. We are a tiny little Velocity Raptor versus a Kayubi, but we have the upper hand. Banana slam, slam banana, slam the banana, slam the banana, banana slam. Okay, this isn't working, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna need to bust out a rocket launcher. The rocket launcher, it just absorbed a, a hit from the rocket launcher. If I'm 
I'm able to morph into this thing, I am going to be so powerful. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna test it out. Next up, we have the Kyubi. Okay, I gained a lot of extra hearts, ladies and gentlemen. This guy is supposedly friendly as well. So if I were to summon in a Cree, that didn't work. So if I were to summon in a Creeper, it's supposed to not explode. All right, we're gonna try it out. Maybe against an ore spawn mob, it works. We're gonna spawn in a T-Rex. Nope, nope, nope. They're all just very aggressive. It lied to me. It actually lied to me. That's okay though, because the Kyubi is extremely fast. I have extra speed and I have the same abilities as a horse. I don't know why. I can also shoot out nuclear death ray from my body. It's coming out of my kidneys. And it is super effective, yes. We just absorbed the T-Rex. Let's see if it actually worked. Oh, it did, ladies and gentlemen. It worked, and it worked well. We're on to the next wave of ore spawn bosses. This one is called a Sea Viper. Now, it's not super effective, but it can poison its opponents. So we gotta be really, really careful here. And I guess I could just be a T-Rex with a minigun. <laughs> it's working! No, it's actually, wait, it's not working. I repeat, it is not working. I just lied to you guys. I am so sorry. But we do indeed have Banana Slamma. It's Banana Slamma effective. It is super effective. We are a T-Rex spitting out bananas. This is how evolution works, ladies and gentlemen. If a T-Rex can't use its hands, it must use its mouth to throw the banana. And it is working way better than I could have ever imagined. Yes. <laughs> This thing just pooped out a bunch of fish. And I am now about to turn into that fish. So because it's called a sea viper, I'm guessing I'll need to be in the water. Oh no, I actually don't. So this thing is, is I mean, it's a snake, I guess. So that sort of makes sense that it does need to breathe underwater. But this animation is so sick. Look at it go. I'm a ton No, I'm not doing it. It also dropped something called a squid zuko. We'll test that out in a second. Wait, why would I want to turn into a tiny little baby scorpion? I guess I'll test out squid zuko. <laughs> Wait a second. I can shoot that little little attack squids. Yo, this is amazing. And they don't fight back. Wait, are they fighting me? Are you guys trying to hit me? They just completely disappeared into the stone. I don't know if this thing is actually effective, but I'm going to keep using it. <laughs> I think it's working. Yes. Wait, I'm blinded. Why am I blinded? I got ink. I got, I got ink sacked. Okay. I guess I'll just hit it because I am a giant sea viper and I'm really, really powerful. I guess I'll turn into a scorpion. It doesn't really make sense. Why would I want to be a scorpion? This thing is not powerful whatsoever. To make me feel better, ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead uh, over to beckproject.co in the description down below. Check out the brand new merchandise. We just got a brand new shipment of plushies. Do it or I'll snap you with my scorpion claws. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got to keep moving. We only have a 20 minute time period here. I'm going to have to squeeze Zuku this man to death. I'm sorry, brother. You're extinct. You're extinct and you're going to die. <laughs> Wait, I could actually spam this so much. There's like 60,000 attack squids. Yes, go my minions. Go. They're shooting him with the water charges. This is a beautiful sight. I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up with a minigun because they all just, I, I, I think they may have uh, died. It's not my fault, ladies and gentlemen. They couldn't get to the water. I'm pretty sure that's Darwin's law of natural selection. Boom. We have evolved into an Allosaurus. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a speed round. Okay, so I'm an Allosaurus. I have insane protection, and I should have some really, really good strength, too. Let's test it out by slapping him with a fish. Oh, okay. But I'm actually doing a decent bit of damage. Look at me go. <laughs> Yes! What's up, you giant bug? You just got squashed, boy! Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna morph into the giant bug, the mantis. Now that I'm the mantis, I can actually fly around. This is the first thing that I can actually use in order to soar through the skies. Very nice, very, very nice. I did also pick up the mantis claw, which is a pretty powerful weapon that does 10 attack damage. That allowed me to snap my giant claws. Okay, let's spawn in a robo snipey. No, no, not today, Mr. Snipes. I guess I'll morph down into it. This thing seemed kind of tiny, but it does have... Oh, wait, I can shoot out these charges. Let's try it on the Nastiosaurus. This is probably the most powerful boss that I've fought yet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, flip, dude, I ran out. That's okay, I have the Mantis Claw. Oh, wait a second. This thing is pretty overpowered. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're morphing into the Nastiosaurus, which is basically like a T-Rex on a bad day. We're gonna have to use this dude in order to take down the Basilisk. This thing is super powerful. So anything that gets close to it, it does a ton of damage to. It poisons it and also slows it a ton. But since I'm the nasty source, I do so much damage. It is incredible. Come here, you oversized snake. It's your time to die. De yep, he is de definitely dead. Can confirm he now dead. I'll put that on his gravestone. He now dead. But we can morph into the giant oversized snake. And now we have even more strength and resistance. And we're also a tad bit faster. I think we're almost ready to start fighting some of the extremely overpowered bosses like Mobzilla. But before I do that, I want to make sure I have the giant robot Jeffrey in my arsenal of things to morph into. All right, this dude's kind of, he's, he's a little bit big. 
He's doing basically no damage to me, though. And I should be able to poison him with my Mantis Claw. Oh my gosh, dude. I do so much damage. Let's try out Squidzooka. Okay, he hit me really, really far back. I think Squidzooka actually pushed me far back, too. Luckily, I can slither my way all the way back up to Mr. Jeffrey. Get Banana Slam, Jeffrey. Banana Slam. <laughs> Can I hit him with Banana Slamma? Okay, it doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as when I slap him around with the Mantis Claw. So I think we're gonna stick with this. There we go. One more hit to do the trick and we did it. We gotta move fast, ladies and gentlemen. I just checked the clock and there's only five more minutes left. We have now morphed into one of the most overpowered bosses and robots, Jeffrey. Jeffrey can also shoot out the rocket charges. We're gonna need to use Jeffrey's amazing superpower abilities on the Kraken. I'm sniping. I'm snippity snipe snipe sniping. Sniper no swiping. Okay, this dude just completely evaded every single one of my attacks. What just? Did he just start picking me up? Luckily, ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey does have rocket boots. So I can fly up into the sky where the Kraken is, and I can light him up with the nuclear death ray. It looks so cool. Oh, it's working, ladies and gentlemen. He's coming for hits, though. I might need to bust out the minigun. Okay, minigun did not work. Minigun did not work. I repeat, we need the banana slam. Banana slamma was super effective. How did that even make any sense? Wait, no, Banana Slamma. You have to come back to me, buddy. Yes, <laughs> we got Banana Slamma back. We also got a Red Ant Robot Kit. I kind of forget what this does. Let's go ahead. We're going to place it down, I guess, over... Can I even place it down? We're going to place it down over here. Before I do that, actually, let's go ahead and try to morph into the Kraken. Yo, oh my gosh, dude. I can't even see. I look like a big blob of muscles. But ladies and gentlemen, the Kraken is also able to fly. That is going to be super effective. And when it starts raining out, the Kraken gets even more powerful. But let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. We're spawning in Mobzilla in uh, three, two, one. I am literally too tall. My tentacles are too massive. I can't even get to a block. Oh, I got it. In three, two, one. What is going on? We did it, ladies and gentlemen. It took a little bit of maneuvering, but we have Mobzilla. And now, whoa! Whoa, we do a lot of damage. Nope, don't fly away. Fly the flip away, you giant overgrown squid. Okay, all right. You don't have to hit me with lightning bolts, bro. This man's a straight savage. Let's see how he likes getting banana slammed. Did it work? Okay, banana slammer did not do exactly what I wanted him to do. He did not kill Mobzilla in one single hit like he did with the Kraken. When it... <laughs> uh, cut, 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 cut. We might have to bust out the big guns like a rocket launcher. Did it do anything? This dude's way too big to get rocket launched. I, I should have known. What about a nuclear death ray? Please tell me this is going to do just a little bit more damage than everything else that I've been trying. The only way I'm surviving right now is because I have the resistance and strength of a Kraken. If I was any of the other morphs, I would have been dead. Other than maybe Jeffrey. Let's actually go ahead and we're going to try out Jeffrey. Oh, we're coming tumbling back down to the ground. If I need to go high up in this guy, I do have my jetpack. But ladies and gentlemen, I think the nuclear death ray with Banana Slamma should be able to defeat Mobzilla. And then I can turn into it. We can also try out our nuclear launcher too. Let's see if it does any damage. Oh my gosh. Okay, that probably did a lot. I can't see Mobzilla's health. Okay, he just leapt at my face, bro. This man's a straight savage. Let's try going in with a claw because everything else has not been working so far. Can I even get close enough to damage him? I can't. I just literally get flung back. It seems like Jeffrey has a little bit more resistance than the Kraken for whatever reason. I guess probably because he's made out of a robot and is basically a giant Terminator. But... For whatever reason, I'm doing basically zero damage. The nuke launcher does a little bit, but barely anything to the ginormous Mobzilla. We're lighting him up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. I have never shot more nuclear bombs in my entire life. It almost looks like I have nuclear diarrhea. What? Uh, okay. All right. I said that. Yeah, we're gonna keep that in. We have to be close, ladies and gentlemen. I've easily launched over 263 nukes. Wait, wait. All fire, cease fire. Did we do it? We did, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like it literally has every single ability ever. It can walk up blocks. It can't burn. It's friendly to mobs. I don't think it can die. It literally has a little tiny symbol with a X crossed out and a cross bones and skull. It takes no fall damage. It looks like it can't get withered. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to morph into the beast. I also just realized, too, he dropped his mob scale armor. So we have Mobzilla armor now, along with being Mobzilla. And we got the Royal Guardian Sword. That's going to be super effective against the next bosses, the King and the Queen. I've run into a slight problem. I'm a little bit too tall to spawn in the King. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one, the King. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to morph back into Mobzilla just so we're able to tank every single hit. Wait a second. Oh, 
my gosh. Okay, okay. It's a good thing I morphed, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you guys see my health right now, but it dipped to zero. And because Mobzilla has insane resistance, I somehow survived. Now, the only issue is, uh, I don't, I don't know if I'm doing any damage to the king right now. I swear I'm hitting him with the Royal Guardian Sword, but for whatever reason, his health is staying the exact same. Oh my gosh, man, he's going towards my house! Go back up there, you giant three-headed behemoth! There you go. There we go. There we go. I'm, I'm saying there we go, but nothing's really happening. I'm doing zero damage right now, and I have no clue why. This Royal Guardian Sword does 750 damage, so maybe it's just a visual glitch. But if this giant cheese noodle of a dragon somehow is able to beat Mobzilla, we're gonna have a problem. So I'm not sure why, ladies and gentlemen, but whenever I'm Mobzilla, the king's health actually regenerates. So I don't know if, the, if it's working together with Mobzilla, but I had to morph back to my normal, simple self, and we should be able to take it down. We did it, ladies and gentlemen! Let's go! Oh yeah, I forgot, there's a little baby prince. Let's see if I got the morph I did, ladies and gentlemen! Look at this beast! Oh, that looks so sick. It's really cool, too, because I have my little tiny baby prince that's following me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's the moment of truth. The queen in three, two, one. Oh, I gotta morph, I gotta morph, I gotta morph. Okay, okay, we're morphing back into the king, and I'm just gonna start attacking it. Oh, we've engaged. We've engaged, ladies and gentlemen. My health just dropped back to zero, but I think the... Uh, okay, I was gonna say I thought the king was maybe invincible, but it's not. This is not good, lady. Okay, all right. Um, I'm kind of just getting... I'm getting stomped on right now. This is... I'm getting spawn trapped. There's literally nothing to do. I... I've been bested, ladies and gentlemen. There's literally nothing to do. I can't believe you got us trapped here. Uh, what did I even do? You know what you did. Last thing I remember, I was mining my diamond, my first ever diamond in months, and I went to go clean it off in the well, and now we're here. Into a twilight portal. Why do you have random portals, bro? I don't know where we are. How do we get out? We only have 20 minutes to defeat every single one of the bosses. And if we don't, we're trapped here forever. What bosses? There's eight custom bosses that we have to beat. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, now I'm thinking that you planned this. It was you, Adam. You're the one that threw the diamond into the portal. It took me months, months to find that diamond. And you're saying it's gone forever? It is gone forever, Adam. <sighs> Get me out of here. Get me where, where's the first boss? In my inventory, I have this blank magic map. If I open it, I should be able to see all of the bosses nearby. The first one that we have to find and defeat is the Naga boss. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. I don't know what a Naga is, but it sounds scary. Adam, follow me. There should be one right over here. Do you have weapons? I only have a pickaxe. Let me check my backpack before we head inside. I have a couple of cookies, but it looks like I have some combat pants. Whoa, I'll take these cookies. I have a pistol, I have a chainsaw, and I have six grenades. Wait, what? And also a combat knife. Give me, give me, give me. I'll give you the boots. I'll take the chest plate and the pants. <laughs> That's not fair. I'll also give you the chainsaw too. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and I guess we could split the grenades in half. Oh yeah, okay, give me that. <laughs> oh my goodness, Adam. You gotta save the ammo for the Naga. Oh, okay. A chainsaw never runs out of ammo. It has fuel. Oh, crap. Do you see the Naga boss popped up on the top of the screen? Oh no. We need to be ready. We should probably crouch. We gotta be extra careful. If it sees us, it's gonna try to eat us. Wait, I hear it, I hear it. Do you not have another chest plate? I hear it. No, Adam, I see it over there. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna throw a grenade. I see it, I see it, I see it. Ah! Oh my gosh, Adam, oh, there it is. Oh, Shoot okay, it. Okay, kill okay. it, kill it, Adam, kill okay, it. Okay, I'm trying. Come on, Adam, this is the easiest boss. I'm gonna run now. It's almost dead, it's almost dead, Adam. Already? A little bit I'm more, a, yeah, use okay, your chainsaw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chuck some grenades at it. Watch out for me. Don't hit oh me. Gosh. You're hitting I, I us. Hit you. I hit you. It's almost dead. I'm charging you with a chainsaw. Ah! Yes, we got the first one. Let's go. Adam, you got to check out the loot that we got. Wait, you dropped oh something? Oh my goodness. Yeah, wait. Okay, so we need to collect the trophies. I got the Naga trophy, but we also got some 
upgraded weapons and armor. We got advanced combat chest plates. We got a grenade launcher. And we also got jetpacks. Yeah. Here, you can take that. Oh, I got a jetpack. I'll give you the grenade launcher too. Oh, I'm going to have some fun with this one. <laughs> Wait, careful. <laughs> we got to save that for the next boss. Are you Sorry. crazy? It's so much fun. I, I had to test it. Let's test out our jetpacks too. We can use this to get to the next boss. Whoa. 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 Am I flying? You got to be careful with that. Yeah. Don't break your kneecap. Oh, this is sick. Luckily, we did that one in like three minutes, but we only have 17 minutes to defeat the rest of the bosses. To infinity and beyond! Adam, the next boss should be right in front of us inside of this giant tower. These are the biggest mushrooms I've ever seen. We need to stop worrying about the mushrooms. <laughs> we got to get to the top of this tower. Let's try to fly all the way up to the top. Here we go. Whee! It's working. I hope we can break in through the top. Wait, what's at the top? Is there the another top boss? The top is the next boss, Adam. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to try to break in through the ceiling. Don't even worry, dude. I got a rocket launcher. Adam, I'm mining in right now. Are you with me? Move out of the way. That did work. I need your help. Oh, I dropped in, Adam. I need help. It's the Twilight Lich. Use your rocket launcher. I'm going to use my high ground here. Whoa. Careful. Don't heck? blow me up. I didn't even shoot. She teleported. Adam, where are you? I'm ready in grenade, Jack. Oh, I see. Fly. Wait. Wait, fly. fly. With your oh, jetpack. my gosh. I'm flying. I'm flying. <laughs> this is so much fun. Let's go. I don't see the Twilight Lich anywhere. Oh, wait. It's down here. Oh, wait. I see her. I'm going to try to get some hits. It just cloned itself. Be careful. I can't hit this one. I'm loading up with a chainsaw. Wait, Adam, I just remembered something about the Twilight Lich. It actually is invulnerable to any damage. It's practically invincible. Why would you tell me this now? Why would you wait to tell me? The only way that we can do damage is when it shoots us, we need to hit the particles back at it. Oh my gosh, this is too hard. I'm gonna wait upstairs. We gotta be really careful. So save your grenade launcher for the next boss. I already wasted all the ammo. Adam, are you kidding me? You wasted all of your ammo? I need to eat cookies and relax. Bro! Adam, I need backup now. I don't know which which one's the real one? Oh my gosh, there's a spider spawner down there. We don't need to care about right. the spider spawner, I'm Adam. I'm coming in with the chainsaw. Ah! Jack, they're surrounding you. I'm scared, Adam. We need to beat this thing. So I just have to hit their bullets back in their face. Yeah, just hide in the corner and then try to hit the bullets right back at them, especially the explosive ones. Oh my goodness. I gotta go. Adam, we're wasting too much time. We need to beat this thing now. These guys are good. I'm trying a grenade. It teleported away. Oh, oh my gosh. Adam, this doesn't look too good for us. It does not. We only did a little bit of damage so far. Adam, watch out. Ah. All right, I'm gonna hit this one back. Genus, Magenus. Oh, I missed. I'm gonna spam click. What the heck? How did you miss? It's right in front of you. I'm trying. Nah. Oh, you oh, just okay, ate okay, explosion. Okay. You know what? I'm sick and tired of this. I'm right in front of its face. Don't worry, Adam. I got this. Wait, I think I see the real one. Die. Oh, yeah. Wait, this is the real one. The other ones have just been clones. Okay, we just need to wait for it to shoot me. I got another hit. I'm waiting for it. Another hit. Okay, now we know what the real one looks like. Oh, come on, dude. We can't even get rid of the other ones. Only two more hits. Finish it up. Let's go, you big dummy. Come on, shoot me again. Check. Watch I out dare for my you. grenades. Wait, Adam. Adam, I got the shields down. Oh, nice. Use your grenades. Needs. I'm moving in. The it's trying to get zombies, Adam. Careful. Oh, I'm going in for the crit hit. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, you got it. There's a lot of good stuff, that Adam. That looks good. I'm going to just, yep, I got it all. Oh my okay, gosh. Let's see. You never share. I'll give you the good stuff. Don't worry about it. Let's see. You can have this alien blaster. Ooh. Okay. Wait, what is this? Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I'll keep the sonic rifle and the mining drill for myself. And there's also this scepter. I think it works pretty well. Oh, you got your own scepter? <laughs> I got one too. Adam, we took too much time on that. We need to get out of here. Yeah, that witch was actually very tough. Let's get to the next boss. All right, Adam, the next boss is found in this dungeon. We're looking out for a minnow shroom. <laughs> What's funny about that? I'm testing out my alien blast right now on a big horde sheep. Oh my gosh. Adam, we don't have time for this. You got us trapped in here and we're running out of time. There's only 14 minutes left. Oh my gosh, I keep getting sidetracked. I'm so sorry. Come on, come on. I think we should split up to save time. What you're looking for is a giant minnow shroom. It looks like a mushroom combined with a minotaur. Split up? Are you mad? The deeper you go, the better chance you have of finding it. So let's do it on three, one, two, three. Good luck. 
Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I found one of the Minotaurs. That's not quite what we're looking for. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's so many of them, Adam. What are these things? Get these monstrosities away from me. I'm destroying the spawners. We need to figure out how to get one level deeper. That's where the Minotrooms spawn. Ooh, I found some new armor. Oh, this looks good. Hey, Jack, how's it going? Jack? Where's Jack? Oh my gosh, wait, Jack is lost. I need to find him. No, 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 no. This is not good. Oh my gosh, wait, is that a trap? Ah! Ah! Adam, what was that? Jack, this place is booby trapped. Wait, can we get to the next level? No, I don't see it. Adam, it's right down here. Oh, good find, okay. We're down to the next level. We now should we never stick split together. Up. Yes, thank you. That is a good idea. Check out over here. Whoa, this looks like a lost library. All right, be on the lookout for a minister. There it is, Adam, kill it. Kill it, that's Adam, it, kill that's it. it. That's it, oh my gosh, great launchers. Get it, Adam, get it. I'm gonna use my life training scepter. Oh my gosh, I'm hitting him with the alien blaster. Oh my gosh, yo, we got it. The alien gun is so powerful. I got a diamond minotaur axe, and we also got Meef Stroganoff, which is great. That'll let us fight the Hydra Ball. The Hydra boss? That's the next boss, Adam. We need to get out of here and go find it. Oh my gosh. Dude, these bosses keep getting harder and harder. Adam, check the chest before we leave. There might be an upgrade. Oh, let me check this one. Whoa, it's an ironwood sword. I don't know if that's good or... Oh, wait, no. That's so bad. Oh, Adam. Whoa. Wait, you didn't even see this. There's a rocket launcher in here. You put your grenade launcher and you wait. didn't even grab the rockets. I'm taking that. I'm going to grab your grenade launcher just in case we find more grenades. All right, let's leave through here. I'll make a passage. It's made of bedrock. We can't even get through. Okay, that was still fun, though. Let's actually go. We're running out of time. Before we head into the Naga Boss Cave, we need to make sure we eat the Meef Stroganoff. Is that some sort of stew? It's a really good stew, and it'll give you fire resistance. All right, cheers. Slurp it up, Adam. I'm not hungry. to run a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to run in a circle. <laughs> we got to build up an appetite first. I don't know if this is yeah. working or not, but it's going to yeah. get all my rage. Yeah. Oh, wait, it worked. Okay, yeah. stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. stop. Whoa! <laughs> I said enough. You crazy. All right, I definitely need food now. I'm gonna eat this. Down the hatchet. There we go. We gotta go quick. We only have resistance for four minutes. Let's move. Make sure you have that rocket launcher ready. The Hydra boss is right up here. It's locked and loaded, Jack. Oh my gosh, I see it. I'm taking a shot. Careful, Adam, careful. Hasta la vista, baby. I'm using my sonic rifle. Wait, it's, it's like absorbing my rocket. Adam, make sure you don't destroy the heads. If you destroy the heads, then it'll just grow more back. Ah! I need you to hit one more rocket shot. Come on. I'm going for it. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, ah. nice hit. Nice hit. I'm going to hit him with the alien blaster. Dude, this sonic rifle is so overpowered. Why does he have so much help? Keep going, Adam. Keep going. Only a little bit more. But we're running okay. out of time. We're down to you, 10 minutes. You distract him. I'm going to hit him in the tail with the alien blaster. Yes, just a little bit more. We're almost there. Come and with on. the rocket launcher for the finishing blow. Let's go. Come Dude, on. it's He's regaining health. health. A little bit more. Rocket launcher. Yes. We did it. We got it. Yes. Let's go see what weapons we unlocked. Let's see. We also got, I think this is fiery blood, which we can use to upgrade. Oh my gosh. I see a flamethrower. Yeah, wait. You grabbed the flamethrower. I got the hydra head. Oh, snap. No way. All right. We're going to need that to get back. I got sticky grenades and a blaster shotgun. What the heck? Oh my gosh. We need to get to the next boss. The next thing we need to find are the night phantoms. I think I found it, Adam. I'm right on your tail. Okay. Follow me into the forest. We need to find a way to get into the dungeon that has as the night phantoms. I just realized this. I have the, the meat from the Hydra and I'm eating it. Ew, dude. That's I, gross. It's too good. It's so good. I think this is it. Oh no. You mean this mysterious random staircase? Okay, sure. We have to go back underground, Adam. We're looking for night phantoms, which I'm pretty sure are ghosts in armor. Oh my gosh. This this looks terrifying. Wait, Adam, do you still have that Hydra head? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, you have to place that onto this pedestal and then it'll let us in. Oh my gosh, wait, you're right. All right, let's drop on in. All right, Adam, I'm pretty sure the night phantom only spawn on the third story down. So we need to find that. Okay, we have another mystery hunt. I'm all in. I found it. All right, let's go. One more floor to go. Adam, we only have eight more minutes left, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, what's down here? I think I found where the bosses eat. I'm trying to mine through. Oh, I got through one layer. Whoa. We're in, we're in, we're in. Whoa, these are the night phantoms. Oh, no, they're spawning, they're spawning. Rocket launcher. Get them, get them, get them, shoot them. I'm using my sticky grenades. Come on, come on. Oh, I think it's working. Yes, yes. you did it. That was insane. 
Yeah. My sticky grenade stuck right to his head and blew him up. All right, Adam, let's see what we got. There's phantom plates, which is never lost on death. That actually seems pretty good. There's a nightly pick. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab the nightly axe. It says extra damage. And there's also a minigun. No, no way. way. All right, I'm going to grab the minigun. You could take the other thing. Some sort of rifle. I don't even know how to say that. Oh, make sure to take the slugs too. And I'm taking the nightly sword. That looks too epic. All right, now that we have that, we can move on to the next boss. We got to move quickly. I don't think that we have any time left. The next boss could only be found in the ice biome, which I'm pretty sure is right in front of us. Oh yeah, this place looks snowy. The problem is my magic map ends, so I don't know exactly where the boss is going to be. I think we can maybe scare it out. If I just shoot a rocket launcher at that big mountain right there, let's see what happens. Wait, Adam, I think that big mountain might be where the Alpha Yeti is. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. I want to test out my brand new weapon, the gauze rifle. I have my minigun at the ready, Adam. Oh no, there's something. Oh, oh there, there it is. is. I shoot it. it. Light it up. Oh my gosh. Wait, Light it up! I have like a sniper rifle. Kill it! Whoa! Well, that was easy. Dude, my sniper rifle just one shot KO'd it in the head. Hey, I did damage too. I was shooting it with my minigun. Whoa, 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 whoa. I found something. It's a nuclear death ray. Wait, Adam, be careful with that thing. That thing sounds deadly. Let's test it out. Oh! Holy smokes! This thing is crazy! Okay, we only have five more minutes, but that's gonna help us with the next boss. Wait, five minutes. We gotta move. The next boss is the Snow Queen. Adam, you gotta be careful. The penguins are spies for the Snow Queen. But they're so cute. Don't trust them, Adam. They're cute, but they're deadly. There's no way they could be spies. Look at the little guy. Don't look yeah. at it, Adam. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Wait, Jack, what is that thing? That is where the Snow Queen lives. And we're going towards the castle. Got it. All right, here we go. All the way to the top, Adam. The tippity top. We better hope we don't run out of fuel, because we'll die. Jack, I see a penguin. I think that's the boss. Careful. No, the penguin is not the boss. The penguin is not the queen. Look at these penguins. Get out oh of here, penguins. Gosh. I'm going to dig inside. Whoa. Oh, Adam, the snow queen is right down here. You dig through. I'm going to throw a sticky grenade. I'm ready. Ah! There's a snow queen. Get out of the way. She's popping up. Oh, oh no. My she gosh. escaped. I unleashed her. No. Shoot it, Adam. Shoot her. Okay, I'm taking out my death ray. She has so much health. Light her up. Oh, my gosh. You can't hit her from the bottom. You can only hit her from the top. I got to take out the shotguns. She keeps flying all over the place. I can't get a good shot. Let's try to lure her back down to the ground. Ah! Kill these stupid penguins. They warned her that we were coming. Oh, she's stuck right here. Oh, I'm landing big hits at him. Oh, yes. Light her up, big bro. Okay, okay. I'm going to try to get her all the way down to you. And then you shoot her with the rocket. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna reload. Adam, she dropped all the way down. I'm coming in for the finishing blow. Mama. Oh, what a hit. Let's oh. go. You got her. That was insane. Adam, there's only two minutes left. Come on. We need to pick everything up and we got to go. Oh, my gosh. This gun looks huge. Okay, I have her head. I got a guided missile launcher and a... TFG 10,000. Could I have the TFG 10,000? That sounds sure, awesome. Sure, sure. I'm going to take okay, the guided you, missile you, rocket launcher and I got a nuclear missile. Okay, Adam, you're going to use that on the next boss. That could be how we finish this off. If you want me to, I'll do it for you. Follow me. We need to go find the strongest boss yet, the Yurgast. All right, Adam, it's all the way over in this direction. I see it on the magic map. Okay, I'm following you. We got to move quick. I see the Yurgas castle. Let me know if you see it. I can lock on. I'm on the lookout. I'm going to charge up my weapon. I'm just going to shoot. Whoa. Oh, let's go. That was insane. Oh, Adam, it's spawned. Oh, okay, okay. I see it. Adam, I charge see up it. your weapons. I, I locked on. I locked on. Oh, no, no, no. It's doing damage. This barely does any damage. I'm shooting it. This thing is so massive. Adam, I don't like this. I'm going to try the minigun. Oh. Oh, there we go. I'm shooting all my missiles. I'm taking out the death ray. Shooting every gun that I have. Ah! Keep going, Adam. Keep going. It's getting close to me. Just a little bit more, Adam. We almost have it down to half health. Oh, my gosh. We only have 30 seconds left. Come on. I only have one more rocket launcher. Keep going. Keep going. Here we go. I can't miss. Oh, that did so much. Oh, I don't like it, dude. It sounds awful. It sounds so bad. I can't hear anything. This is so loud. Adam, come on. We're running out of time. I'm trying my best. 20 seconds! For it, Beck, bro! Ah! Oh, Adam! Careful! Ah! Adam, we literally have 15 seconds! Come on! Yes! We did it! Let's go! We gotta get out of here now! All we have to do is grab the trophy! Let's do it in 3, 2, 1! The portal opened! Let's go! With half a heart, I survived. Let's go. This was all your fault. 